warm and fuzzy tones of the original Roland RE201 Space Echo, an awesome unit. It's one of the most legendary effects units ever created. It was a tape echo, it was a reverb, it had a preamp circuit in it, and it was just super cool. Brian Setzer is the first one that comes to mind. He always used one uh, in his rig with his Fender amplifiers and his Gretsch guitars. It was like as big a part of the tone as the guitar and the amp, I think, for Brian. But also like legendary and uh, reggae and dub music. I believe it's the echo on Phil Collins' voice on In the Air Tonight. You know when he goes, the last time we ever met, 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 and it's kind of like out of time with the song, but it's so cool. Now Roland did a pedal version of it years ago, but this one goes beyond as far as modeling the preamp characteristics, the saturation, the wow and flutter all the little details i mean it really sounds awesome and the reverb has a really unique character too it's a spring reverb and it kind of has this like small spring sound that's sort of like slightly blown up when you hit hard with the guitar it's really cool another thing that's important to note is there's actually other reverb sounds you can change away from the original spring reverb sound by going into the secret menu you can switch to a plate a hall there's different reverb sounds in there i didn't have time to explore that in this video because there's already so much to check out but it's important to note that you can do that because there's not very many pedals on the market that do delay and reverb in one pedal and with this one you basically have a full featured delay and reverb so the original unit i believe had three tape heads this one actually has four so you can do different things as far as like multi-tap style delays and this pedal recreates all the controls with the bass and treble which are super handy you can really fine tune in the tone of the delay and then you've got intensity that's basically like a feedback control you've got the repeat rate that's really delay time but you can also tap in the delay time here and then you've got echo volume, that's basically like a mix control, and a reverb volume mix control for just the reverb effect separately. Over here you've got wow and flutter and saturation, so you can control how hard you hit the tape, and if you want to distort it, and how much old school mm, swimmy modulation you want in your delay sound. Now you can store four presets in the unit and recall them, using up down buttons but if you use MIDI you can actually store up to 127 or 128 I think it's 127 anyway a lot you've got a switcher so that you can switch it between line level and guitar level so that's really nice if you want to use it like on the send of a console or something or maybe in a line level effects loop for a guitar amp and then there's also a control here that lets you vary the tape age like to uh, simulate a more aged tape or a brand new tape whole bunch of different modes here to engage the different delay heads and then there's like a hidden mode when you power up by holding tap you can change a bunch of things like for instance really interesting you can actually engage a model of the original re201 preamp i always thought the re201s made your amp sound better like when you plugged into it everything just sounded better well you can actually do that in this pedal or you can set it up to be just like a straight clean analog dry through with no modeled preamp sound there's warp switches here to change the sound of the delay they also do double duty as preset up and down tap tempo expression pedal input here i didn't do any expression pedal stuff here i could have but i just kind of reached out and warped the knobs with my hands while i was playing and got some cool sounds so I want to uh, demonstrate some more stuff by playing more through the pedal, and I also want to solo some of those parts from the song at the beginning of the video outside the mix. I can't show you every sound this thing makes, but I think you're going to get the idea. I mean, even just from the intro, I think you get the idea. Like, the thing sounds amazing. It's certainly one of the best tape echo style pedals that I've ever tried, if not the best. It sounds absolutely awesome. It's an inspiration box for sure. So another really fun thing you can do with the pedal, the two outside foot switches also, besides being able to uh, be a tap tempo and change presets and stuff like that, they're also momentary switches when you hold them down that can uh, change the sound up and get some really cool effects going. They call them warp switches. So I did a little bit of this in the song at the beginning of the video, especially with the left foot switch. By holding it down, it will ramp up the feedback in a controlled way and just kind of continuously feedback whatever the last thing that you played was. 
and by holding down the right foot switch, it'll actually change the speed of the delay motor, the virtual you know delay motor, uh, and it'll ramp up the pitch super high. And as you release it, it'll it'll release it and slow back down. So it's easier to just show you what they sound like. There's also a control that varies the sort of virtual age of the tape, uh, from a new tape to an aged tape. And aged tape always has a little bit more distorted quality to it, a little darker sound, and new tape is always brighter and clearer. So let's switch between it, you can hear what that sounds like. Okay, so I just cut the part that kind of comes in at the beginning um, in the song uh, in the right speaker, and it just sounds so cool, the sound that I've got dialed up. I thought I'd just show it to you. I've got heads one and three active. I'm using quite a bit of intensity or feedback, as we would call it in today's terms, uh, and uh, I've got the reverb up quite loud, too, like around um, two o'clock, so lots of reverb mixed in, and it's a great sound. It sounds like this. <laughs> I just love how the um, the reverb comes in and kind of blows up, and then uh, the the intensity, uh, you know, or feedback tails out, and you got all that mod going and stuff, and that really kind of imperfect delay. And the part that I ended up playing with it sounds like this. And like, you can play the simplest stuff and it just ends up sounding really cool when you have a delay with so much character because it's like lending so much to the tone. Uh, I just really have fun with this sound. So I just cut the little solo uh, part in the song at the beginning of the video, the kind of the gainy solo. And for this part, I'm actually running the pedal in the loop of my PT-15 amplifier, which is over here. So in the effects loop, and it works great in the loop. I've got the um, uh, input gain here set for line, and I wasn't actually even hearing any distortion with it set on pedal. My amp is kind of like hot pedal level or low line level. We kind of split the difference on the effects loop, but um, check it out. That's switching between line and pedal level, and I don't hear any distortion on pedal level or line level. I, it's probably better to use it on line level in an effect loop, uh, unless you've got a pedal level loop for sure in your amplifier. But anyways, it seems to work great. And I love the sound I was able to get. I've got my um, my Archer pedal running in front of the channel 2 of the PT-15 for a real gainy solo sound. And in the track, I'm able to get like lots of delay happening, um, but it doesn't obscure the main guitar part um, because of the way I've got the tone control set with the treble back a bit, cutting a little bit of bass, got the mix up real high, and it sounds like this. A 
Lots of echo happening and it just sits in the track, great. So one of the things about original space echoes is even when bypassed, like with no delay or reverb or any effect happening, they just made your amp sound better. They had a really cool like fatness to them, just kind of preempt the signal in a neat way because they had electronics in them, of course, and stuff that your guitar signal would pass through and they just sounded cool. So they've actually modeled that in this RE202 unit, but you can turn it off if you want. If you just want to have a straight analog dry through signal unaffected uh, by any kind of preamp circuitry, you can do that, or you can choose to turn on the modeled, you know, original Space Echo preamp sound. So if you want to turn it on, what you do, and by the way, there's a bunch of different things you can change by doing this, uh, but what you'll do is you'll power up the unit while holding the tap button down, and that's going to take you into a mode where you can adjust a bunch of this stuff and make some selections. So by turning the mode knob to 9, and then pushing the memory select here, and it'll toggle between the green and the red light here, you're gonna have bypassed and then preamp sound. So this is what it sounds like. pedal sliding all over the desk here because I don't have my, my regular, uh, won't fit in my pedal vise. <laughs> but anyways, you can hear it just gets a little bit fatter when the red light comes on and it's just got a little bit more thickness to it. You guys, thanks for watching my video on the Space Echo RE202 from my friends at Boss. Faithful recreation of the good old RE201 Space Echo, fantastic tape echo and reverb unit. I love delay. If I had to have one pedal only on my pedal board, it would probably be a delay because I like to get distortion out of my amp anyway. So as long as I've got a couple good amp channels and an echo unit, I'm really happy. And this one I would be very happy with as my sole pedal, I think, as long as I have a tuner too. Great job, boss. This thing sounds amazing. I love what you're doing. Keep uh, on this path. You can check it out further. The link down in the video description below. Click there. It'll take you to more info about the RE202 Space Echo pedal from my friends at Boss. Please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the little bell beside the subscribe, you'll get an alert when I put out a new video. Thanks boss, thanks to all you guys watching, take care, over and out.